Hey, the fox is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for, you know, sticking throughout your journey. I know sometimes it might be hard. It might be frustrating. You're ready to give up, but you're not going to give up on anything that you're trying so hard to achieve. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you feel like you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if... You know, if it's about the content of the, the video on the feedback, or you're just up, tell me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life, and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos gave you good vibes or good information that you would love to share with a family, friend, or even a fellow empath, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites, wherever you see fit. And once again, thank you so much for the love and support that you've been giving me throughout my channel, especially on the, the your dark times, which I greatly, pr truly appreciate. Y'all be, be bringing tears to my eyes. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Today, I'm listening to this dope beat. I love this. It's called DMT Awake the God Wake Awake the God Within You. DMT Release Activation Frequency Pure Tone Drum meditation music and i will post that link in the description box below and today my video is about twin flame 101 hey Oak is letting go of the need for approval and validations of others you know i used to go a lot of you know go do that a lot you know i don't want nobody thinking i'm trying to belittle them or anything like that because i always talk about things that i have been through or you know what is bring, brought to my attention that i need to talk about because there's certain you know i don't i don't sit up here and you know low-key anything you know i i tell people you know you're you are not your past um we all make mis mistakes nobody's perfect you know you can bring you know the person that, that judges you you know, they got too many things that they're focusing on other than their self, you know, but it's just like when you have grown up with abuse, uh, being, you know, if, if it's like, uh, physical abuse, verbal abuse, sexual abuse, whatever kind of abuse, where people told you you were not good enough or made you feel like you weren't good enough, you know, when you're at that time and age where you are enough, you do matter, you are important, you, you are a key to this beautiful life that we're trying to have in the midst of all this chaos you know it, it's just like it's hard for us as empaths especially Hayokas, um when you have gone through so many hard times to where it makes you feel inadequate make you feel like you're not important make you feel like you don't matter you know um life is hard for you as it is a lot of times we feel so much pain that we want to end it you know and that's a sad thing because i see a lot of people i even was one of those few that wanted to give up on life you know just not feeling wanting to feel that hurt anymore not to feel that pain that darkness that emptiness that you know was eager for attention or just to be loved you know and it takes a lot for you know to know that you need to love yourself if you want love in your life you have to love yourself enough to where that's what you can attract because if you track doubt you attract depression and stuff like that that's all you're going to receive back you know and i try to tell people that but there's a lot of people that are so used to that type of life that is hard for them to be able to change and make them feel like they're worthy of love. Everybody is worthy of love. Everybody is worthy to be loved. But you have to be able to search from within first before you can get it on the outside. You know, a lot of us get into relationships because, you know, we don't want to be alone or we're ready to get married for the fact of being married. You know, like I tell people, you know, are you right now in that space and time where if you were to find another you, you know, would you date you? Would you marry you? You know, and it's just like a lot of us have to do that self-healing, that um, self-love, that self-worth, that self, you know, uh, respect to where we're not going to be doing any and everything just to fill that void. You know, there's a lot of people that, you know, jump from sexual partners, sexual partners, because they they need to fill that that kind of void in their life to make them feel like they're worth of something in which they are, but they're not going to feel it 
with other people. They need to feel that within themselves, you know, because that's a dangerous thing. There's too many diseases out here, especially ones they haven't even, you know, put names to them yet. But, you know, some people have to learn the hard way for things like that, which is truly sad. But we should never search for validation from other people. We should never you know try to look for approval within others when we need to be able to do that look from within you have to look in the mirror and tell yourself I do matter you know whatever I need to love I need to love myself first you want people to love you you have to be able to love yourself first because it's like when you don't do that you, you'll you'll get into anything and that's when you get hurt plenty of times and you wonder why you know your your relationships don't work out marriages doesn't work out because a lot of people are going through them for the wrong reasons you're not seeing the red flags that are coming up and then you're like why didn't I see these things yes they were there the whole time you were just so fixated on the fact of being involved with somebody you weren't seeing all the things that you know was trying to give you clues that this is not something that you need to be in this is not the people you need to be around and it's just a lot of times you know we have to go through that never feel like yourself oh I'm stupid because I didn't figure this out I was blind no it's not the fact that you're stupid or the fact of you know um you didn't see the red signs. A lot of times, if you've been in relationships like that for so long, you think it's normal. You think, you know, from things like that, because it's like with my family, um, I see my parents fuss and fight all the time. And, you know, even with my, my biological father and my mom, they fussed and fight a lot, you know, so that was normal to me. And then for me to get into a relationship like that, and that's not healthy. That's not nothing to be in a relationship for, you know, and that's why I, I try not to put that on my kids but you know sadly I expose my children to stuff like that and pray to God that my kids don't follow behind my footsteps in getting in abusive relationships but it's just like you have to be able to break that chain break that cycle to know that you know what you're important you matter, matter I can validate myself I don't need approval from anybody you know I can approve you know do the self-approval for myself a lot of people are gonna have their different judgments about you about you and that's fine you know but it's just like, you know, when people tell me about, oh, this is what you do or this is how you feel, you know, you can assume anything you want to about me. You know, it's just like there's sometimes I allow that stuff to, you know, go out of one ear and out the other. Like, OK, whatever. You know, this is me. This is how I am. You know, it's just like I don't need validation or approval from anybody because I used to look for stuff like that in other people. And I said, you know what? If you go around trying to please everybody, you're never going to be happy because you can't please everybody. Not everybody's going to like you. There are going to be some people that are going to love you. There's going to be some people that like you. And there's some people just not going to stand you. And that's fine. You know, that's fine. You can't go and go through life trying to get approval from other people. You need to be able to find that within yourself. When you love yourself, you know you will attract the right people that need to be in your life and needs to be on that level with you to be in your inner circle that you can be able to enjoy. Because it's like, but we go through life and we have to meet the people we meet, whether it's good or bad, because all these relationships has taught you something. All these people that you have came across and has came in your path. It gave you some kind of acknowledgement, some kind of lesson behind that relationship that you have had, whether it's good or bad. But you have to be able to have that self-approval. You have to be able to have that self-love and self-knowledge for yourself to know that you are valuable enough to know that, you know, you don't need to seek that within anybody else up yourself so i hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video remember you are all loved you are all beautiful souls and you are all a gift from god and we all play a beautiful part in this crazy ass world so i will see y'all on my next video like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop me a line let me know that you resonate or you understand where i'm coming from or just allow yourself to know that you you know it, it's not like you're you're stupid or you know you, you you know you you didn't you know you went through stuff like this and that's fine because we all had to learn some kind of way so um i'm giving my post notification shot out to um let me see blood ko uh coyote and bam bam and Lauren Harrison, much love to you. And know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. Because I pray for y'all each and every day. And I hope you have a good day and a bright day, even though these shifts are like crazy. And I will see you on my next video. Peace. Be wild.